So this is wireless in the same room as the Orbi. Right, with this uh, Nighthawk, what we're going to do is go ahead and compare the Netgear Nighthawk uh, AC1900 speeds uh, first, and then we'll go ahead and throw the Orbi on and then uh, check the Orbi speeds. All right, so first coming up here is the, uh, the Nighthawk speeds. Here's the uh, Netgear Nighthawk R7000 uh, AC1900 uh, router that we're currently using uh, with those Comcast speeds. Um, I have this device isolated strictly to uh, only Wi-Fi to this device right here in front of it and we'll see what kind of uh, speed ratings we get. Um, like I said, I've had this one for maybe mm, a couple of years. This room is about uh, 35 feet away. This one is the complete opposite end of the house, same floor second floor, uh, maybe about 60, 50 feet away or so. Complete opposite end of the house where the main TV is. Probably about 60 feet away. First floor. So we're uh, different floors as well. This version will be with the range extender that is on the first floor connected to the router on the second floor. The range extender is a Netgear AC1900 EX7000. Um, I have to say it actually works pretty good for what it is, but uh, we do get a lot of speed variations from the one upstairs uh, to downstairs. And with the range extenders, I think pretty much right off the bat, you're dropping your uh, uh, speed in half when you use a range extender. Right, today we'll be unboxing the uh, new Netgear uh, Orbi. RBK53, and this will be a set of three. You'll have the uh, one router and the two satellites. Um, most of the ones I see online are um, the two units, uh, which I did just hook up the other day um, uh, for a family member. And I have to say I was exceptionally impressed with the two devices that covers a 4,000 square foot home. Um, the home we're currently putting the three setup in is a 3,000 square foot home. The two devices probably should have been adequate. Um, however, this deal uh, was too good to pass up. And you know what, if you're, if you're going to do something good, you might as well overkill it and uh, put in a system that's built for a 6,000 square foot home. So we'll actually see uh, how good the 6,000 square foot home unit applies in a 3,000 square foot house. So. Uh, stay tuned here. Well, let's uh, get the sucker unpacked. I have to say the uh, package that it comes in is very nice. Um, it's not just thrown together in a cheap cardboard box. I mean, it's actually uh, very well packaged. The 
we have the quick start guide. Uh, really easy setup on a scale of one to 10, with one being easy and 10 being difficult. This was probably on about uh, a two. And the only reason, or two or three actually, the only reason that I rated it that high is because out of the box, um, this unit requires a firmware update. And the, the, when I tried to update the firmware uh, at the uh, friend's house, uh, family member's house, um, it failed uh, the first two times. So if you're, obviously if you know computers, it's not a big issue, but uh, you know, like for uh, some older, older couples or uh, older family members, parents or grandparents, they probably need some help to set this up. The router and note one ethernet input or sorry, internet input and uh, three ethernet outputs on this device. One satellite. Satellite number two. Four ether four Ethernet outputs as well on satellite number two. Uh, the satellites are identical. Um, the system is expandable. Um, if you find out you don't need uh, the third one or the second satellite, you don't have to use it. Um, likewise, if you purchase the two Orbi system, uh, you can add an additional satellite onto the system, uh, no problem at all. And that's what's in the box there. Again, the back of the other satellite, identical. Uh, box one, power adapters, two of them. Box two, uh, another power adapter, and a uh, Cat5e uh, connectivity cable. And that's all that's in the packaging. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get all this cleaned up. We'll get the, the old system unplugged and we will uh, get the new system up and running and do some speed tests. Again, the uh, router is identifiable by the blue top uh, with the satellites having the white tops on them. And these do have illumination colors inside these uh, rings here to let you know if, when the devices are connected and to uh, check for appropriate uh, signal levels. Uh, they will illuminate a specific color letting you know that the device is within range of the router unit. Alright, so after about six or seven attempts we're unable to get it uh, to auto update. Um, so we're actually going to go to, we just clip, what we did was we just selected the skip option and just brought through to register the device and we can do a manual update uh, from this point. Um, just enter your router information uh, the information for the router is an RBR50 and the information uh, model number for the satellites is RBS50. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and download uh, those devices and then make our updates manually uh, from this point. Okay, Orbeez are hooked up. Uh, let's go ahead and run a uh, speed test in the same room. Um, I was just running one downstairs, so we'll see how it detects the new one, uh, the one in the other room, and picks it up. So this is wireless in the same room as the Orbi. And my router speeds are uh, straight from uh, our service provider, about 210 megabytes per second. So I'd say 187 uh, down is pretty good in the same room, obviously. Uh, so let's take it in the other room. This is the other room again. It's about 30 feet away, maybe more, um, from uh, the main Orbi. This is about 30 feet away. Okay, let's check another room. And let's go ahead and test the speed.
70 megabytes per second. Uh, running this check a couple of times um, in the same room, like with a stationary device such as your TV, I uh, was getting over 200 uh, meg per second. So I'm kind of curious if you have a device that moves from room to room, how it uh, is supposed to connect seamlessly to each device and not even know the difference because it is only one network. So maybe that's why you're getting speed fluctuations as I walk from room to room with a mobile device. Um, picking up the different signals, but uh, if I uncheck it and recheck it or just connect with the device like my TV in the other room, um, it gets really good speed. So let's check the TV room here. And here's where we have the Orbi down in the TV room. So this is easily 60 or 70 feet diagonal from uh, the one in the corner. All right. Uh, see what kind of speed tests we get here at the TV. Previ previously, we were getting uh, 20 to 25 down and um, 12 up. Uh, so see what we're getting now. All right, let's go ahead and test one more time. All right, 231 down. So we went from... Uh, 20 to 25 down to 231 down in the area that we needed the most. So uh, I say that's uh, pretty good. All right, the, uh, the router setup uh, went very well. Um, given the fact that uh, this device here, which is the actual router, is supposed to be set up in the center of the home um, with the two satellite uh, uh, devices spread out throughout. As you can see here, the setup is supposed to be uh, the router in the center of the home, satellite, satellite. Uh, my setup is currently router in the corner of the home with the satellite down on the first floor and then another satellite down in the, uh, the other low area over here. So the distance is pretty far between the two. Um, so if I actually set it up with the router here and the satellite here and the satellite here, I probably would see more consecutive or consistent I probably see more consistent speeds uh, of around the 200 megabytes. So what we may do is go ahead and um, the speeds are actually crazy fast right now, but just for uh, uh, amusement, I may put this in the center of the home, swap this one with one of the satellites and uh, check the speeds there. So I may post an update to this uh, shortly in the future, but uh, stay tuned for that. All right. Thank you everyone for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.